Hey guys, Ivan here and we got some breaking news for today. Finally, finally it happened. Michal Križak Križanik has decided to switch from the IABB Elite Pro to NPC, hopefully to IABB Pro League after he wins a pro qualifier but guys this is it finally finally we're gonna see Mikhail Grigio compared to the other top bodybuilders in the world first we had good veto but now we have the best IIBB elite pro bodybuilder switching to NPC and I can just say to IIBB pro league because he will easily win any pro qualifier out there so as you can see right here it was posted by EVLS Prague Pro official basically a photo of uh, Michael Krizo signing the contract in the caption of this post you can see that they are celebrating their 10th year anniversary and they say this is why we are happy that we managed to enter into cooperation with a personality whom we respect very much and we believe that with our support he will achieve many successes and fight for the highest one Mr. Olympia all right so Mikhail Grigio wants to get to the Olympia and that is where he belongs that's where he belongs he does not belong to IBB Elite Pro he's a top physique one of the best physiques in the world and he belongs amongst the top pros as you can see it was also posted by AJ Kelly Roberts and by so many other news outlets at this point but I don't think anybody posted it on YouTube so I think I'm breaking this story on YouTube anyways as you can see here he says breaking news after years domination in other federation uh, Mikhail Krizo has finally decided to enter the big league of the MPC this is tremendous news as fans always wondered how this tremendous athlete would stack up against the best in the world we can't wait to see him turn pro and hopefully see him at the 2023 Olympia where he belongs and I'm over here wondering why 2023 necessarily couldn't he get qualified for the 2022 Mr. Olympia so as you can see in the comments there James Collins said commented and AJ Kelly Roberts responds let him do the Arnold Classic UK pro qualifier that way he can do the pro show that weekend and that's what I'm thinking you know there are so many shows left to qualify for the Mr. Olympia 2022 and again he can turn pro at any pro qualifier I mean he's already the best in IFBB elite pro and as far as you know stacking up against the top pros in IFBB pro league I don't know if he could crack the top 10 at the Mr. Olympia probably not but maybe maybe if he really tries hard I don't think I ever really saw him super shredded and I don't think he had to get super shredded because his competition was never really that tough he was able to win all these shows by not really being in 100% and now if he wants to be really good in IV Pro League he has to be 100% on and uh, even then it's gonna be tough for him to battle against those monsters so it's definitely gonna be a big challenge for Mikhail Krizo to actually do well in IBB Pro League once he turns pro but does he have the potential to be one of the top pros I can see that I, I think he can I think he has that if he is really willing to push his body to, to its absolute limits which it doesn't really seem like he's already doing that as you can see here and in most of his shows he's never like completely diced there is definitely more room for him to get even more shredded and that's when he's gonna be really dangerous but the thing with Mikhail Krizo really is not that he is the biggest and the most shredded out there the thing with this guy is that he has the craziest muscle bellies like he has one of the freakiest genetics in the world right now if not the freakiest from all the bodybuilders that we know they're competing look at this and that is why it is so exciting to finally see him switch to the I don't even want to say NPC I'll just say I have be pro league because he will turn pro easily so this was his competition back in IBB Elite Pro as you can see those guys are not on his level no he was easily beating them without being super conditioned so nobody was really challenging him look at his lats Brad wow wow what a, what a genetic marble what a genetic freak this guy right and just because of the fact that he had no real challenge in IBB Elite Pro you can count on him improving significantly for the IBB Pro League because if he's gonna battle those guys he has to improve if he wants to be competitive actually at the Olympia can he turn pro easily can he win a pro show yeah sure there are pro shows that he can win but can he be competitive at the Olympia and crack the top 10 let's say 
I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think he can actually be top 10 at the Mr. Olympia. It's going to be tough for him the way he is to even win a pro show, but if he pulls that off somehow, he's not going to do very well at the Mr. Olympia. Not with this conditioning, not with this look. So he definitely needs to progress, but there is so much room for progression. I can definitely see this guy becoming one of the top pros in the future if he wasn't really trying super hard so far and there is more room to progress as far as conditioning and also muscularity he needs to improve certain body parts so from the front he's pretty complete like the quads are looking really good shoulders chest and his arms are absolutely crazy he has those kevin levroni genetics so from the front as you can see in the front relax in the front lat in the front double bicep as well he looks really good but when he turns around it's a little bit of a different story as far as his waistline i mean how wide his shoulders are and uh, how popping his quads are and how big his arms are they all make his waist seem smaller than it actually is but true to be said it's not exactly the smallest waist ever but it's not a big problematic waist and here is the trouble when he turns around so as you can see his glutes are really tiny he needs to work on improving those glutes he needs to squat and squat deep and heavy he needs to improve the back too the back is pretty good it's not bad but he can definitely improve it and he can definitely get rid of that final layer of water and fat or whatever it is in his lower back he definitely can get more conditioned in that area but what I'm most concerned about is his glutes. His glutes are going to definitely hurt him, especially in the IBB Pro League. I mean, glutes are really important in that federation. And no, it's not that they need to be only conditioned. They need to be big. They need to be thick for sure. But as you can see, Michal is not completely conditioned. He never really is. So if he gets completely diced, everything is going to look better, even his glutes. Most muscular doesn't need much improving, he's really good in this pose, mainly because of his insane genetics, you know, those Kevin Livroni genetics as I like to say. So basically chest, shoulders, arms don't really need much improving for the IBB Pro League, but some other body parts like glutes definitely do. And you might be thinking the reason why his glutes are weaker is because he trains fluffy. Very often he posts stuff like this, these kind of working sets, and as you can see here, I mean, what is this? This is, this is fluffy work, you know, but he can do this for his chest, for his arms, sure. He doesn't necessarily need so much growth in his chest and his shoulders and his arms, not really. He needs to refine them, you know, work on the details. And <laughs> Look at the size of this freaking arms, man, this guy is so freaky on the gym, on stage, wherever, so I'm really excited to see this freak of the freaks, the freakiest IBB Elite Pro compared to the open pros in IBB Pro League, it's going to be amazing. As far as his back training, as you can see, it's also, I don't know, I mean, he is focused, he's focused on constant tension, sure, that's all great, but I would still like to see a little bit more intensity, because his back also could use some improving. And maybe he will change that after he switches to the MPC and maybe starts training with some of the top pros in IBB Pro League. Now, as you can see here, this is the leg training. So the quads are good. He has really good quads and also very good hamstrings as well. But, you know, when you're training quads, when you're training legs, when you're squatting and stuff like that, when you're leg pressing as well, your glutes are being developed as well. You don't grow your glutes by doing uh, kickbacks and uh, glute bridges or whatever. You build your glutes by squatting, by leg pressing, by lunging. And as you can see, I mean, is he training his legs hard? I think, yeah. I mean, it's nothing insane, but yeah, he's not really going as fluffy as he is on arms, chest, and even back. So he can train hard if he wants to, and he trains his legs very hard because he knows that's his weakness. Quads and hamstrings, not so much. They could be bigger for sure, but glutes need serious improving, that's for sure. So at this point, let's hope that he's going to do the pro qualifier as soon as possible, that he's going to come improve, that he's going to be even more shredded. But based on the caption that EVLS Prague Pro posted, he probably won't be competing uh, at the Mr. Olympia before next year. And of course, that's if he can win a pro show, which I believe he can. So he's probably going to be competing at uh, Prague Pro. And Prague Pro is usually uh, in, uh, in September, October. And it's most likely going to be a qualifier for the 2023 Mr. Olympia. So hopefully he's gonna turn pro before that, uh, compete at the Prague Pro, qualify for the Mr. Olympia and then have an entire year to progress 
to get that back bigger, to get those legs bigger, and especially improve the glutes. And if he does all that, he's going to be really dangerous at the Mr. Olympia in pro ranks. Whatever you guys think about Mikhail Krizo, tell me in the comment section down below. And another thing, if you guys enjoy my content, if you want to support my channel, you can do that by trying Old School Labs Vintage Brawn. In the description of this video, there is a link that will get you there. If you use my code EVAN, you get a 12% discount. But basically, Vintage Brawn is a protein powder. It is consistent of beef isolate protein, egg white protein, and whey isolate protein. So it's a really high quality protein, a really complete chain of amino acids, and it has so many great flavors. And during these hot summer days, I will suggest to you banana milkshake. It is so refreshing. It tastes good, and it's a high quality protein, guys. So if you want to support my channel, you can try this. Thank you so much guys for watching do not forget to subscribe all the best guys and bye bye